sick news, actually great news. Supreme's Fall Winter 2022 collection finally dropped in terms of the preview and the lookbook, which is the most important part of it because the preview isn't even, you know, it's, it's extensive. You should call it an extensive full-blooded preview, but in general, the preview is always a good time for Supreme fanatics like myself and others around the world. You get a chance to kind of tick off the things that you want to buy, write them down, note them, take screenshots. I mean, beforehand, I used to record, no, what did they used to do? I used to just do, put them in um, a PDF um, with like notes and stuff. I went to cop and whatever it may be. And usually the list will be super long. By the time the collection comes out, you only buy, like end up buying five old pieces from the collection because you forgot, because you don't have any money, whatever it may be. But it's always nice to kind of look for the preview and dream about stuff that you would want to purchase. But one thing that's always clear, that's always evident, and that is beyond reproach is that the full winter 2022 collection is always i think the pinnacle of what supreme do their full collection is so bloody good so i because i feel like as much as supreme are known for their hoodies and their t-shirts and stuff i still think they are unparalleled when it comes to their fucking jumpers knitwear and most importantly coats and jackets they have some of the best coats and jackets you've ever seen and if the reason that's so annoying is because i think to myself if i was ever seated by supreme or if i was able able to get some discount from supreme the first thing that would be really hard not to do would be to buy a million jackets that's the thing that i would do the most i just go in there if i had discount and be able to buy two jackets was the thing you know one jacket is like 300 quid so you're not exactly be able to buy two all the time but if you're if you get 20 percent off of them you can maybe get two for like 400 right 450 which would make it way more tempting to go out and buy two jackets like one maybe down one um you know one waterproof thing one maybe nice one whatever maybe you could always kind of kind of double up on that regard and i think that's the main thing that i'll do so i think supreme doesn't get enough credit for their jackets their jackets are really fucking good and this collection is no exception and i want to just show it to you here on screen so of course the supreme website and the preview is there. Of course, they've got news. Of, and when it's actually dropping, I'll just quickly read that to you now. So it says, the full Winter 22 collection um, is going to be available in stores and online from this Thursday. So if you go and got any money, I'm sorry about that. Um, most people like myself get paid at the end of the month, but luckily I did save some just in case something did come out. So I'm going to be able to buy some bits and pieces from the first shop. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then what is the, and then the rest of Japan, um, Japan stores and online on the 27th, the preview is available now. So yeah, let's check out the preview anyway in general so you can just see what i want and then i'll talk to you about the stuff that i liked straight away right so i can give you an idea of the things that i'm really really into so let's do a few all usually i don't like when i first watched when i first clicked the preview i'm sure other supreme fans are like myself when i first clicked through the preview i never like to do view or only do view all when i finish doing it the first way around when i first do it, i like to go through every single box each box has like different items in it on different slides you can check out different color variations i like that shit i like to kind of be surprised all the time it's really cool um, but if you want to just check them all out once you can just click view all here so the view all button comes up and then they will kind of get listed in something that i'm immediately into straight away that was a real hard thing to kind of figure out what color i'd want is this down jacket this down parker sorry it's a gore-tex 700 field down parker and it's in silver i want that number one because there was an old bape jacket from back in the day i think it might have been like 2008 2010 i don't know when it was right and it was silver and i always wanted it and it was a kind of down jacket in the same sort of style as this and you know of course i never ended up getting it because that busy workshop in flipping upper james street was a rigged game right it's even more rigged than fucking sneakers app at the moment or just buying sneakers in general absolutely rigged um so yeah fuck everybody they used to buy anything over there they used to be successful i didn't the most successful i was was when i went in once and i bought flipping a t-shirt with sellotape absolutely incredible but anyway we digress the silver parker is stupendous it looks absolutely amazing it looks a bit nuts it looks a bit crazy i understand but for me and for the stuff that i like to wear i'm definitely into it the only issue is that the other colors are just as good they've got a color here in like this olive green which is fucking gorgeous but i have a little i have a coat that i bought recently from angland and i've got another kind of double taps one that i also bought that's the same sort of color so maybe it's not the right thing to get the blue um color is absolutely gorgeous as well and obviously the black is a classic but you know it's probably not a good idea to go and buy black jackets from supreme unless they're a particular design because you can maybe get them anywhere else you know what i mean it's better just to kind of mix it up a little bit especially when it comes to your wardrobe and whatnot i think for me that's you know, so what i definitely would like to do but i'm definitely into the silver joint here right this kind of 700 filled down jacket definitely something i'll definitely cop instantly then talking about black jackets actually this jacket here which is something that i actually need to replace because i've got a 
I don't actually own, I don't think, a waterproof jacket. I think all my waterproof jackets are actually sold. I've got water resistors, but I don't have any waterproof jackets. So this is a um, Gons Gore-Tex shell jacket made by Supreme. And I think I mentioned before on this podcast ages ago that I felt like Supreme were definitely going into the direction of designing and making or producing, manufacturing their own um, rain waterproof jackets and not doing more collabs on them. So they've obviously got the collabs they do with Stone Island and the collabs they do with like North Face. But for the most part, in the past, they would maybe marry up with a brand who does a particular kind of jacket really well a particular style and just use their resources because you know you could just get it done at the highest level that way but i feel like supreme's manufacturing or production levels have really improved over the years where they feel confident enough to kind of just put out their own versions of certain things so that's why now in these collections you see way more supreme branded down jackets way more supreme shell jackets like this they would have maybe collaborated on in the past so this is pretty cool to see so this is a typical shell jacket with some nice diagonal zip uh, you know um what you call it sealed uh pockets on the front here some pockets here on the on the wrist that's pretty cool and then it's got a nice little cap hood here on the front and the front of the zip kind of pulls up over your mouth so that's pretty nice as well and i always like always like the addition of the pull ties towards the side of the hood as well because it allows you to kind of get the hood to kind of fit your face a little bit a little bit more tight especially if you want the hood the hat to look pretty sick on there but the design obviously at the back is definitely the piece of resistance you've got this sick um guns um obviously mark gonzalez painting here on the back um which features uh a, a image depicting jesus on the cross but the color that i'm thinking of getting is either the camo no the kind of thinking of colors i think i'm getting is the camo and the black the black obviously to be an everyday jacket that i can wear day to day with obviously the thing on the back of it and then of course the camo to replace a jacket that i've got that's a collaboration between oh who is it again it's like a zoo york jacket. it's like an old streetwear brand i got from ages ago i got two of them that i bought ages ago at some um, streetwear market thing but i always wanted to replace it with like an actual waterproof gore-tex jacket and i think this might be the key especially if i'm going to be cycling a lot this winter as well around town and whatnot i definitely like to have those two jackets so again it's already three jackets that i'm already on right in the supreme four in the collection you can really see how mad i'm going with this thing already there's a really cool jeff hamilton collaboration jacket here too if you're into that kind of stuff it's not really for me i don't really like what it looks like but i like everything around actually let me show you what it looks like obviously you know what jeff hamilton does when it comes to leather jackets and then the really cool thing about it is that they've got this custom bag that it comes in which is jeff hamilton logo here on the outside and then they've got this um certificate of authentication as well that comes inside it too which is pretty sick so i'm really curious to see how the chinese factories try to copy this and fake this because this looks absolutely insane in terms of the quality but again it's not something that i would particularly wear so not something i'm really interested in and the other thing that i thought was really cool was of course this reversible jacket again we're already up to silver to, we're up to four jackets here that i'm already i'm already considering to buy right this jacket is absolutely insane this is a reversible featherweight down parka it says here it's water resistant so it's not waterproof but the water won't drench the entirety of the jacket if you don't stay out too long um it's got cordura nylon ripstop with the down insulated quilted baffles full zip closure with zip pockets lower front is anyone else like the really like the product descriptions that supreme do they do really good product descriptions just really to the point precise product descriptions printed logo on the hood original artwork by cockney i don't know who cockney is but regardless i love the artwork it looks really cool um, it's probably a little bit youngy for me it's probably a little bit gen z ish right it's kind of the kind of thing you would expect somebody that wears pearl necklaces and paints their nails black to wear but in general i do like it especially the red one because you know i don't actually have a lot of red jackets in my collection it'd be a nice thing to kind of add to it and also the um reversible side of it is absolutely great looking so it's red like this with this amazing artwork it looks like a dragon on the outside with supreme written all over it and then the inside when you reverse it's just like a regular down jacket in red like that with these great little um mesh patches there on the side so it looks really cool man like it looks really really nice i'm not gonna lie i really do like the look of that i really do like the look of that so definitely that one in red is definitely something to keep an eye on already up to four jackets there the other thing too that i really like and like the look of is maybe these little flannel um puffer jacket type things again you know why i like the kind of things i'm always into flannel and i still regret flipping losing my balenciaga um flannel as well a while back but i do ended up buying another one but it's not the right color i need to get back the blue one 
um, of course this shirt here is absolutely stupendous I'm sure a lot of people are going to be copying this one it's a heavenly silk polo a polo t-shirt um, with this amazing heavenly artwork here in the middle I'm not sure who actually designed it maybe somebody in-house but it looks really really ridiculous really really cool and then another thing too they got this really nice lgbtq gradient little knit that looks there sweater that looks really good again like i said before supreme knits are really underrated you've got this as well that reminds me of like an old chanel piece this contrast stitch button up um with made of moreno wool blends so that's really going to be lovely to kind of get in your hand and touch and whatnot and then of course this is a really piss resistance i'm really into this um this gremlin um gremlin hockey jersey because i had to throw away a jersey that i had that i really liked because it was kind of you know the whites were becoming yellow and gray and shit but this would definitely kind of replace that because this is basically the same sort of color scheme so this is definitely something that i'm gonna 100 percent be robocopping because i threw away my one my one recently um so that's a really nice one that hockey shirt and then i'm showing you a couple more pieces and then we're gonna move on another thing also i'd like to point out is the hats the hats are very 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 underrated when it comes to supreme especially the five panels because my head is so big it's great to see five panel hats make a it's great to see supreme still putting energy into making five panel hats because it feels like everybody's wearing those kind of dad kind of camp hat sort of thing which my hair like this could never fit and even when it's braided it just doesn't look good because i've got a big head and i really do like this one in specifically which is a collaboration with iraq again one of my favorite brands and graffiti crews out there um most of you would be aware of that anyway i was the person that used to wear the flipping iraq hoodie i was so damn it pissed off that i fucking sold that hoodie it was an iraq hoodie that had iraq at the front iraq at the back backwards um in big font with yellow and then the outside of it was printed in 3m so that when you're riding your bike it would shine i don't know why i sold that fucking hoodie but i did ages ago but anyway regardless i reckon the collaboration with supreme they've got i think they've got a hoodie they've got us they've got a banner clava they've got trousers and they've also got this hat that's a supreme logo and it's got um the iraq written font over the, over the top of it as well i'm not sure actually who actually created the font for iraq i'm not sure if it was it's not somebody else but regardless the front looks sick over the top of it so that hat is really sick and the last thing to point out that i really like as well is the bags i need the backpack so the backpack is definitely something that i'm considering to buy because i need to replace my one because it's absolutely busted um so the silver one of course would look cool to match the fucking jacket i'm going to get but i might end up just sticking with the black to be kind of standard but i really do like the silver as well i think the silver looks really really good and i think in general all these bags in this collection look amazing i'm i'm kind of bummed they stopped kind of numbering the bags because i think the last time i had a bag was like i had like a a 12th and maybe a 13th no i had the 11th and the 13th but now they stopped numbering them because before they would number the bags i know there's definitely a website out there that still probably numbers them now but that was a standard thing they did they've got this huge massive large whole tote bag thing that looks fucking incredible um again the duffel bag is always a favorite of mine that i never end up getting but i'll probably end up getting it this time around so i have something to take to to have something to take my shit to the gym with and whatnot um they've got a nice shoulder bag here that i'm sure that'll be really popular again because it's got supreme written on the front of it waist bag is always really impressive again but the bags this time i was really impressed by even this little collection of an organizer pouch looks really cool Kodora. and i think this is really cheap too i remember seeing the price being something like 50 or 30 dollars or something which is crazy and yeah i really like the look of the bags really like the look of the accessories and as per usual it all looks absolutely fantastic and you can even check out some of the lookbook pictures as well they look really cool um we've got a lookbook pictures here features some of the jeff hamilton pieces you know standard sort of wear all styled really well as per usual you can't go wrong when it comes to premium this sort of stuff and yeah man that's that silver jacket looks hard in it come on man you know that looks hard i can't wait i'm definitely gonna try and get it definitely gonna try and get it it's probably gonna be a buck and it's gonna, gonna be a lot of money so it's gonna be cheap and again that that jacket too i like too that red one with the dragon on it is absolutely crazy but it definitely is worth trying to see if i can cop that the rest of it oh and there's a true religion collaboration coming up too that hasn't been announced that looks pretty sick i'm sure people are going to be into that um that looks really really cool as well and yeah that that flannel kind of puffer jacket i wanted looks really nice i'm just not a fan of all the logos in the back of it but again this i have to kind of expect except with this version of supreme there's always a, an abundance of like these logo things the script written on the back and stuff there's a lot of this in yesteryears that will never have been on there there would have just been like a little red tag on the side of the scene but they've done a lot of this sort of like you know logo font stuff happening and it's just annoying a little bit but hey 
this is the new version supreme and again that jacket is super hard even in that color but again i'll probably end up going for the black and the camo and then there's another one to show you quickly as the last is this jacket here it was really underrated i think but it'll end up being popular because i think this image is really really tough so i'm sure people will end up copying it anyway regardless but i think this jacket is really slept on um very very nice um it's kind of white again if you listen to it's a podcast only it's white body with like a black strip on the shoulder and a red strip going over right down to the end of it as well it looks really really beautiful i'm a really big fan of it but again full full winter supreme never disappoints you can never go wrong with it they always kind of smash out of the park so um yeah we definitely be trying to get some stuff this thursday when it eventually does drop